How's this week of work been for you? It's been good. Um, it's a little cold early in the week. Um, kind of warming up today. Uh, but it was good. Um, great week. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I'm. I feel good. Um, it was just precautionary reasons and things like that. They made a decision, um, but I'm ready to roll. So. How excited are you about that? Who to maybe get back out there? And maybe I know you're hoping you can you can stay out there and, and yeah. the rest away. No, I feel great. Um, like I said, I'm just ready to go. Um, just got to keep it on simmer right now. Um, we play Sunday night, so um, for me, it's just uh, getting the last details in. Um, come in tomorrow, do what we have to do. Um, like I said, just keep it on simmer and be ready to go Sunday night. What can help ensure that, that from here you kind of can, can string the rest of the season along and not, mm -hmm. not have any setbacks? Mm -hmm. um, it just, I mean, if we knew earlier, uh, knew, like, you know what I'm saying, it would have been done it. Um, but for me, it's just, it's just taking care of myself, um, just doing a little more here and there. So um, it's nothing um, crazy to do. It's just, just small things I had to critique and just work on. What's keeping it on simmer look like compared to a full foil? Because we don't, not because, you know, if the game was at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, you know, you'll be ready to go. Um, but right now it's like you get in the game plan, you get out of it, communicate, hang with family, just chill, you get back in the game plan, just little things like that, then opposed to like, okay, I'm game planning, and then like, let's let's get going, let's let, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? You, you you're going to sleep, you're thinking about the game, like um early night of sleep, all that kind of stuff. So like we have a little more time now, so you, you take your time. How has it been for you in the lineup for a week or so, mm -hmm. out of the lineup, back in the lineup, that mm -hmm. sort of thing? Um, for me, I never get frustrated. You know, it comes with the game. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, it just, like I said, just finding ways to limit it, right? And for me, uh, great uh, training staff here, um, just being able to communicate with them, head coach, everything, just all of us communicating and making decisions. Um, but I'm ready to go right now. Rabel always says that when it comes to health and conditioning, every individual player has their own plan. It's mm -hmm. not a one-size-fits-all. Right. How does, I guess, that work for you? Is it a, you come in on Monday and figure out what the plan is for that week? Mm -hmm. Now, um, for me, like I said, just coming from injuries and stuff like that, well, not necessarily I was injured early on, but it's now just um, – making sure I'm good to go. Don't want to set my, have setbacks, right? That's the biggest thing is not having setbacks where you're down for eight weeks, right? So it's like, okay, we can take a week here and impose it for eight weeks. So just those type of decisions and things like that that we make collectively. Is there a payoff at the end of that where you get to a certain point and it's not a week-to-week -week thing and you can just sort of play every single game? I mean, there's, I mean, who can answer that question? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know how to go out there and play and then we'll we go from there. Close to at any point saying maybe it would be better to shut it down for a couple of weeks to get get fully healthy rather than being in and out. I'm good to go. What's it like to see <laughs> Adrian come in? You get the two guys with Hall of Fame resumes kind of joining up to try to help this team. Yeah. Um. I mean, just the way he attacks practice, the way he just came in the building, just everything about him is or. Um, like you said, he's a Hall of Famer. Um, the way he practices, um, he listens very well. Just, I mean, just everything about, I mean, what he, what he do, what he brings, um, and you know, just stepping in and just, you know, he ain't replacing Derek or anything like that. He just coming in, and just being AP, right? We ain't asking him to be nothing else but him, himself. Um, but uh, throughout practice, he's been doing a great job for us. You know him well from past Pro Bowls, and, and, and I done met him. Um, I met AP in probably 2007. I think I was um, getting looked at by Oklahoma as well, so on an unofficial visit, um, I met him out there, and then like just always uh, seeing him in, in crossing things like that. So, um, you know, he got a hell of a handshake on him. So if you want to shake his hand, you know what I'm saying. I'm just, y'all yeah, probably already know that, but I'm just, you know, what I'm saying, letting you know. Get yeah, get ready. Yeah. Um, it's just a standard, right? Um, it's, it shouldn't be no pressure on us because 
I want to do that. We all want to do that in the receiver room. Um, it's just like the offensive line or the, or the running back. You know, they have to sit in there and pass protect. So, um, you know, we all got to work together collectively, and everybody's just got to go out there and just do your job. Like, so, I mean, I love it, though. I don't, it's no, I don't feel like it's a chore to go out there and run block. A.J. Brown talked about how he felt not many people are picking you guys to, to win the game on Sunday or mo most likely kind of an underdog feeling going into Sunday. Mm -hmm. Do you feel similarly? similarly? Um, I'm not on social media like like that, so I don't. I don't know what people are talking about, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, for me, like, um, yeah, I don't listen to nothing. I'm really not on social media or anything is like that to be communicating or, or looking at things. So, um, but for me, it's just, you know, just go out there and just have fun, um, play football with your brothers, um, and just go out there and compete for four quarters. Like, I don't really go what they have going on, who they got, you know, um, 48 guys here, we're going on the road, we're going to compete. What are some of the challenges the Rams bring, especially defensively? Um, I mean, if you allow if you allow it to be a challenge, you know, um, they have all pro players, I mean, all across the board over there, you know, they front five, um, everybody. But if we just go out there and execute and just do our job, I mean, we don't have to make it harder than what it is, just go out there and play one player at a time. you feel like right now teams will be looking at you guys thinking that AJ's number one guy to stop? I mean, if I was a, another team, I would be looking at AJ's the, the, the number one receiver to stop um, the last three games or so. Um, he's been playing his butt off and, you know, doing a great job for us here. Do you enjoy a challenge of going up against a guy like Jalen? I don't, like... I'm just going out there just, just being me, man. I don't look at... Like, he has to cover me. Like, I don't go out there and be like, okay, Jalen's this, that, whatever, he talks, whatever it is. I just, I'm lining up and playing football every play. Like, you got to deal with me for four quarters. I mean, it's, it's it's not hard. I don't look no more into it. You know, like like I said, I've been doing this for a while. I don't never like, okay, how, how can I beat this guy? How can I beat this guy? I'm just going to go out there and give my best on every play for four quarters. So. What about the antics that he brings? It don't matter about antics, man. I ain't into all that going back and forth with, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to play football. This is football. This ain't no street fight. This ain't this ain't none of that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just playing football. So you, you don't talk a lot on the field. Right? I don't say it. A lot of people don't talk to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if it comes to I play between the whistles. If it, if it comes to that. What would you, uh, you tell Derek? What would you kind of do? Done to try to lift his spirits and tell him to hang in there. Yeah, Derek hit me up, um, but he'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a strong individual. He know we're here. We love him. We care for him. Um, he's going to get through it. It's all, a, it's all a mental thing at the end of the day. Um, you can't get down on yourself, you know, because things happen within football. Like, even myself, like, I'm, I'm never frustrated. Like, stuff happens. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people want you to be one way, but I am who I am. You know what I mean? So it's just like things come and go. So, but if you let people get you down, you're going to always be down. So um, I just focus on myself as an individual and I always have my mental clear.